What's up everybody, King of Fomo here, coming at you with your daily crypto update. Today we're going to be talking about the Pulse token or the Pulse chain. This is Hex's new iteration, this whole new thing. As you can see here, 622 billion, sorry, million dollars sacrifice into this thing, which puts it at a pretty darn high market cap with that alone. So we're going to do some price prediction here, seeing where it can go. And I'm going to do some comparisons as well to the Pulse token with KuCoin and Polygon as well. Uh, we'll also take a look at those. I know a lot of you guys are kind of still biting your fingernails a little bit based on some of the coins that you have purchased, but maybe this video might calm you down a little bit. Now, quick reminder and side note, sometimes on this channel I do talk about things that are very time sensitive. Some of these coins can go up 10x overnight. And if you want to get in on all of these videos on time, uh, then you can head on over to my Patreon page and pick one of the two memberships that suits you. Both of the memberships will get you some of my videos early. The highest membership will give you all of my videos early. And again, comes in handy for those of you who are really glued to the crypto space. Now that being said, not every day, every week, or even every month, there's some hot coins popping up all over the place, but you better believe if there is something crazy going on in crypto, uh, I will try to let you guys know first, usually I'm one of the first people to jump in on some of these low market cap altcoins that can go 10x pretty quickly. So let's get straight into the topic of the video. So like I said, we're going to talk about Pulse today. So as we can see, like again, just to reiterate, 622 million, I keep almost saying billion, 622 million dollars in Pulse so far. So that's all these coins that you're seeing down here, Aave, Chainlink, DAI, Ethereum, Hex, Maker, BTC, all these coins combined together makes a grand total of $620 million. People have given up to participate in this Pulse airdrop. So the tokenomics for Pulse are going to be uh, a little bit different. And this is not going to be a coin that as soon as the coin gets airdropped to you, you're going to become a millionaire. You're going to get 3,000x overnight. Uh, it's going to be a fair launch, I believe, and it's going to take time. So that's going to be the kind of key of this video is patience is the key. I mean, we can take a look at charts all day. I'm sure there's a lot of other YouTubers who do this, so I'm not going to harp on it that much. But a lot of these charts, if you guys believe in a coin or a project from the get-go and you hold on to it for the duration, the extended period of time, that's where you reap the biggest reward. So for Hex, for example, started out at a price of 0 0.05 cents and now it's already somewhere else people say about 2000x at 13 cents pretty crazy right there uh, i'm pretty sure it was even lower than that if you purchased in from uh, one of the if you were one of the first purchasers of the hex token pulse again had a little bit of a confusing launch and you still have a chance to participate in the pulse airdrop or sacrifice phase there's 10 days left but do keep in mind that every day that you wait to sacrifice some of your crypto is uh, you're going to be getting penalized of five percent of your coins that you're going to potentially be getting at the end of this sacrifice phase but nonetheless again if we take a look and see where hex was a lot of people feel like they got screwed over when hex launched uh, because it dumped pretty hard as as the pre-sale happened and then again it's it's over 100x from where it started even if you bought on a bad day for hex um you know and got half half price depending on the date you bought. So that 5% fee, honestly, it really shouldn't matter to you if you really zoom out overall. Now, a lot of people are saying that this Pulse token can get to 1,000x. So I'm not going to go that crazy because generally in crypto, like we never really think about things in terms of 1,000x. Usually you reevaluate and make new decisions uh, when we get to 10x at most. And sometimes if we were patient, we get to 100x, but 1,000x is way far out there. Um, so I'm not really going to do any comparisons with Pulse to Ethereum because, I mean, that's like two, three years out if you're really going to think back that far. And most of you guys, most of my viewers uh, come from the um, low market cap altcoin space where you get 10x within a week's time span. So with Pulse, I think you do you do have to have a little bit more patience. So let's make some comparisons. So one of the best comparisons I can make for Pulse, this is a blockchain that's going to be kind of forked from Ethereum. So developers will develop things on it and uh, it's gonna be very similar to the Ethereum ecosystem. So 
there's that. And again, it's going to be your, your competitor to your second layer solutions to Ethereum as well. Now, God knows that we have plenty of these second layer solution competitors. You have Polygon, you have Avax, you have uh, you have KuCoin, you have Binance Smart Chain, you have uh, Zillica. You have a lot of these um, other automated market makers and just decentralized exchanges and decentralized everything of competing with Ethereum. So the more and more of those tokens that come out, the less of, uh, of a kind of a, um, hoarding effect that happens where just everybody jumps in on it. And it's kind of the case that we're seeing with KuCoin token. A lot of, a lot of people might have thought, hey, it's going to do the exact same thing as Binance, you know, myself included. But we do have a lot of these clone chains, not clone chains, but chains that are, are second layer solutions to Ethereum. So it's going to be hard to, to get um, you know, an equal amount of, of hype like the first kind of side chain of, of the Binance smart chain, that first one that was actually successful. Nonetheless, uh, KuCoin token, let's just take a look at some of the numbers here. It had an all-time low of about 34 cents and an all-time high of $20. So that's almost 100x from all-time low to all-time high, maybe close to about 700x right there, or 600x right there. Uh, so there's your potential for your second layer solution uh, token like KuCoin. So Pulse, again, your Pulse token is going to be similar to KuCoin. And I do think that Pulse, especially with the with the amount of hype that Hex has generated, I think that Pulse is, again, due for a spot in the top 100. Uh, it can get to where KuCoin is, which is rank about 83 or something like that. Uh, I think pretty easily. So I think seeing Pulse, seeing Pulse get to a 10x um, alone is definitely, I think, in the range of achievability. Um, and we'll talk about going beyond that in a little bit too. Comparison to Polygon. So Polygon or Matic, when it first launched, launched about two years ago. Um, its all-time low was also about two years ago at three or 0.3 cents. All-time high was pretty close to three dollars. So again, there's your how many X's is that? That's 100 or 10, 100, 1,000. That's about a thousand X right there for $3 uh, for where Polygon kind of almost touched not too long ago. But even still, you're looking at a, a close to about 300% per, 300 X uh, or 300 X uh, from where it started, if you're looking at all time low to where we are right now. So again, these are your side chains, your competitors to the Ethereum network. And again, Pulse, and I'm sure there will be many others that come along the way over the next couple of years is going to be that. Now, again, what Pulse has that a lot of these other side chains that are trying to be the next Polygon, the next KuCoin chain, the next Binance Smart Chain, what, what Pulse has that a lot of these other things don't is a really strong community. And we know, based on this year alone, I've been talking about this in many of my videos, community is important, very, very important in terms of getting a coin to stick around, sometimes more important than the technology of the coin itself. So Hex has a strong community and a community that's growing on a daily basis. So I think that Pulse, which is tied to Hex, um, will, again, kind of guarantee itself in the top 100 spot for the coins once this thing gets off the ground. The last thing I want to mention is patience. You guys have to be patient with this. When we looked at the price of Polygon, when we looked at the price of the KuCoin token, this is an all-time low of about two years ago. So that was a while back. What that means is you need to be patient for Pulse as well. You're not going to get to that 3,000% or 3,000% 3, increase overnight. Sometimes I think on average with KuCoin, with Polygon, even with Ethereum, it's about two years before you start to see some major growth um, in these tokens as to where like it gets to these astronomical levels. Until then, and this is where you guys can kind of calm down a little bit when it comes to KuCoin token, until then, you will have volatility in your token. Your token will go up, you know, maybe 5x, maybe 10x, and it will go down 50%, 60%, 80%. That's just going to happen along the way. And I think that Pulse token is not going to be an exception. It's not just going to have a straight line upward to the moon for the next two years. You're going to have the same volatility that you're having in KuCoin, in Polygon. You're going to have the same FUD that you had through both of these tokens, and you're going to have days of despair and days of elation 
uh, for the Pulse token overall. So do be patient with this price. But again, what I've been doing over the past kind of couple months really is I've been zooming out and I feel bullish on crypto in general. If you zoom out and look two or three years from now and if you look at all the coins that i've really talked about and the coins that you believe in deeply uh again zooming out two to three years you're not going to regret uh, jumping into a lot of these coins at least i don't think uh, even even if they have their good days their bad days and their scary days and everything in between so that's my thought process on pulse i did buy into here on day one i might actually buy a little bit more depending on how some of my other um, tokens do over the next 10 days but uh, yeah this is going to be exciting time so 622 million dollars will kind of end on this note where is that right now so if, if, if pulse chain were to launch right now what market cap would that put it at now granted some of those funds are going to charity so I don't think it's going to be a, a straight up market cap uh, translation from that number to the market cap. Uh, but I mean, it gives you an idea of where you're gonna see things. So Pulse, $622 million in it already. Uh, that puts it where, uh, pretty much at rank 100 right here. So that automatically puts it at the top 100. Now granted, again, there are some discrepancies, especially with the HEX token. Uh, I have some discrepancies with HEX overall in terms of the supply, who actually owns it and what, what its actual market cap and price actually is. But even the, even with all that, with hex taken out of the equation altogether, a lot of people are sacrificing like Ethereum and all these other coins, which gives Pulse immediate value. So Pulse already does have value, and it's not just a crap coin. I think that that value is going to help it survive and help people want to develop on it. We can talk about this all day long. Let me know what you guys think about the Pulse chain. Are you doing some sacrifices? And I don't think in 10 days, like things are going to start taking off to the moon after 10 days. I think there's going to have to be some testing going on before the coins are distributed and uh, all that kind of stuff. So again, the key of the video, I'm going to say this for like the 10th time, is to be patient. Not everything happens overnight. I know in this channel we've, we've, we've gotten lucky a lot of times on a lot of different coins where they just go 10x in, in a day or a week or something. Where we'll take our profits, but honestly, uh, just zoom out if you're feeling scared about any of this stuff. A lot, like I said, all the coins that I've talked about with with Million Token, Polygon, KuCoin, KuSwap, um, like I'm not scared about them, even if they're they're down this much because I am mentally zoomed out. All right, guys, that is everything for today. Let me know what you guys think about Pulse Token and some of the other ones. And again, if you want to catch my videos early, I know this one wasn't really that time sensitive. You have 10 days. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're, you have nine days probably. Uh, but uh, for some of the videos, like sometimes the news comes out really quickly and I get it to you guys as quick as I can. Uh, if you want to get that, the, that news as quick as possible, then that Patreon will be helpful. And Discord as well. If you guys have stuff to share with me, I'll be happy to hear what you got to say in my Discord chat. And I'll share some things with you guys in there too. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.